Okay, I'm living for this weather today. It's like gloomy and like cool, but not too cold. It's like windy, but like it doesn't feel like burr. It's like nice. I love this. Today's Sunday. But first of all, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's Brandon Lord. Um, I thought I'd do a little vlog this Sunday. I've been missing videos. I like missed this past week. Did I miss the week before? I don't think I did. But regardless, I've been like bad. And I need to get back on track. And I'm going to. Starting with this one. Actually, there might be a video before this one. I plan on posting two. But we're getting back in it. But anyways, my hair. Wow. I'm going to the mall and I'm going with Gia. My goal today is to get a new pair of running shoes. I want to get those Hoka's. Because my cousin Brandy has gotten them and she says they're really good. My lips are dry. But also, I think I've seen online that they're really good. And they do look really good. Because I'm back in my running era. We're getting back in it. And I'm not doing too bad this year, I must say. I started a little late. Like, I didn't start right at the beginning of January. But I started, like, about midway. And I've been relatively consistent. At least this week. Um, so you know what? We're back in it. Better late than never. I see my cat. We have, like, an outdoor cat that we feed. And she's, like going to try to beg for food from another house. Good for her. We love a scammer. I'm still just doing a mile jog, but I do want to get to a point where maybe it's a little more than a mile. Maybe I work my way up. Um, cause I always just do a mile and then I walk like two and just like listen to something just, you know, to get the heart plate route, the heart plate, the heart rate flowing. But my running shoes, I have Asics right now and they're not bad, but I do think they're part of the reason why I had that slight foot injury. Was that the end of 2023? Or the beginning of 2024? I actually did run once on New Year's. Like I was like, I'm gonna run, like I'm gonna start out strong. And then I ended up fucking my foot up. I think it's cause I went from being like non-moving for weeks to just like, oh, I'm gonna run. Um, I think that was part of it. I think the shoes didn't help. And they're not the best. Like, they're fine. But these Hoka's look like they have more support and, like, they'd be better. So, I'm excited to get those. They're pretty expensive. Um, but it's fine. Um, but I need to pick you up. So, I'll check back in later. It Actually, no, this is just the water. It's so Are you excited for this journey? So excited. So excited, so amazing. I like my slaps. <laughs> oh my cat! <laughs> I never watched no, Lady. Same with the life of the pool. <laughs> Eat this chocolate. <laughs> Get her on Broadway. Ariana, watch out. Ooh. Watch out, Chicago. The name on everybody's lip is gonna be. It smells. It does. <laughs> Gia. <laughs> That's aggressive. It gets so aggressive. This car wash gets so aggressive. Nifty, fifty, United States, and thirteen original calling me. Does someone honk? I can't control the speed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hoka's on. We're getting ready for a run. We're gonna run in them. I have to say, already standing in them, I feel so much taller. And it's like, they have like such support in the bottom. I feel like I'm not even like touching the floor. Like it's all just like the Hoka of it all. It's a very strong shoe. I'm gonna run just like a mile, my usual. And then I will check back in after to let you know how the shoes turned out and if they're actually good running shoes. 
Oh, hello. This is plugged into my computer, not even like, the, it's not in use. But anyways, I'm gonna pretend like I'm using the mic. I am about to record the Literary Latte podcast with Katie. We're filming a coffee break today. But I did just finish running. I ran a mile and then walked a little bit afterwards. While I was running with the Hoka's, I felt like I was going so slow. My legs felt so heavy and I didn't know if that was because the shoes are so thick and I just need to get like used to them or if it's because I just ran last night. So I'm still a little sore from last night and like maybe I shouldn't be running this soon, but I wanted to get it done early because I knew I needed to record this podcast and the Grammys are on tonight and I wanted to watch them live. Um, but with that being said, I was convinced I was going so slow and it was gonna be such a slow mile Yet, when I reached a mile and looked at my Apple Watch, it was one of my faster miles. So I was shocked. It was like, uh, I want to say close to 30 seconds faster than even last night. So, although my legs felt heavy, I don't know if maybe it was, like, just I was still sore from last night. With that being said, I do recommend these shoes. They provide the elevation and it's really like, you don't feel the ground at all when you're running. And I think that's good, especially when you're running on like concrete. So yeah, I would say it was a good purchase. <laughs> Okay, it is about like 11 o'clock. The Grammys are pretty much done, but I tapped out a little early because they were just too long. Like they were like three hours long and like they always are, but it, it was just too much, I couldn't. But um, regardless, they were pretty good. The fashions on the other hand, um, I'll be doing a Grammys fashion review video. I haven't done a fashion review video in a minute. I'm gonna continue watching some YouTube and I'm gonna start reading more of um, the book we're doing for the podcast. We're doing A Flicker in the Dark as our next book. And it's a pretty like gruesome murder mystery. I'm only like 50 pages in or something, but it's pretty good so far. Um, it was recommended on Book Talk, so hopefully, I feel like it's gonna have a good twist, but we'll see. Um, with that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.